in the corner. <laughs> what was that? It was an orca. <laughs> it was a carp. Did you see that? Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joe Simpson just coming at you on a Saturday afternoon. I just literally woke up two hours ago. Um, it's about 3.20, and I'm not a slacker. I actually went out fishing this morning with my buddy Matt. We had a great trip, but I wanted to report back on a couple of things. First of all, the new fishing rods, and then I wanted to talk about those new poppers that I bought from Amazon. We went out to this place called Audubon Lake. It's in Herndon, Virginia. Um, I think it's for <laughs> neighbors and uh, members only, and we snuck in there 5, 6 in the morning, just kind of went out and fished. Nobody bothered us, but I did want to say that that place was uh, fairly decent and productive today. I didn't catch anything real huge. Um, and it does seem to have less vegetation than I'm used to on most of my other ponds, and it does seem to deepen up pretty quickly. So I think I might go back over there another time with some different baits, maybe some jerk baits and square bills and rattle traps, because there was some deeper water that I didn't really effectively work because I just didn't have the baits and I wasn't geared up for it. I started up first thing in the morning, early in the dark, and I was using a popper, and I didn't get really any action at all. Um, and I don't know if it was because it was just too early, the popper was too loud and obnoxious, or you know what the situation was. I didn't try the frog because it just didn't seem like a good frog atmosphere. Um, we went around the pond, and about midway through the morning, I caught a fish on a bottom creature bait, and that was nice because I was able to use that new Intenza rod from Shimano, which I can attest and tell you right now firsthand, it is a very sensitive rod. I was a little bit worried about that when I bought it, but they say the SLX is very sensitive. They say the Corrado and pretty much all the Shimano line rods are very sensitive. But this is the medium heavy extra fast in the Intenza line, seven foot one, extremely sensitive, transmits all the bumps and jiggles right through the handle. Felt great. Hook set was awesome. Strength was good. So perfect bottom fishing rod. That thing is going to be great. So couldn't, couldn't say enough good things about that rod and how it was fishing. And then I had the KS2 Lite from Halo on with the um, DC GLX, and I was fishing poppers. And that, that's just a dream popper rod right there. That rod is a 610. It's a medium, and it really, really performs well when working the poppers. And about, I don't know, 9, 9.30 in the morning, we rounded back to the shallower points, and we started picking up a good popper bite, at least for about an hour and a half. Um, and when I say good, I mean a bunch of little fish, but um, it was still more than you know, not catching anything because for a while we weren't catching anything, but we started getting the top water bite. So had a great time reconnected with the buddy from way back. We always loved to fish together. We actually stayed a couple hours extra today because it was so cool outside and we were having so much fun. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say those Amazon poppers, those things are really, really good in the sense that they walk great. They, they function well. The weight is perfect. Everything about them, hooks, hardware, everything's great. The only thing I'll say is the paint is falling off the first one that I've used and I'm not talking a little, I'm talking like probably 25% of the paint on the sides of this thing is gone. And I was catching fish, so it's a good you know, thing to have some battle wounds on your lures, but it's a little ridiculous. But good thing is I have three daughters and I have silver fingernail polish so I can repair and paint things if I need to. So, And they're a buck. I mean, these things are cheap. When it comes to a popper, I don't think fit and finish and perfection is really the thing. I think action is more important. And this popper is great because I have not seen a popper that walks like this. When you jerk it in succession and you're like working it and, and making it, you know, do its thing, it's not just changing directions. It actually rolls as it changes directions, which is really cool because a lot of those colors that are up on the top or the back are being shown to the fish. So I had one that had like a black back with a silver belly and it was either the flash of the silver or the occasional dip of the black that was kind of attracting the fish, but I was picking up some good bites. So uh, thumbs up on those that you can't go wrong. The price is right. You could buy two or three sets of them. And that would be the price of maybe four great expensive poppers. And you could just throw these things in trees, get them stuck. And yeah, by the way, we threw a lot of lures in trees today. And that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish, Matt. Nice. Yeah, that's a pounder and pounder, quarter. Yes. He's loose again. I'm in the water. 
that's the second one that did that. Man, they shake so hard. They fight really hard here. What's up? <laughs> Look at that guy. It's pretty good. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, it was a movie about how, like, more dangerous than a man who has nothing is a man who can have anything he wants. You know what uh -huh. I mean? It was kind of a cool, cool concept. There we go. Yeah, Matt. I'm getting it on film, baby. Good fish. Feels like it. Keep going. He's there. Nah, he's, he's, he's not too, too big. Hey, it's a fish, man. It is a fish. He's not bad. He's, he's, he's hinting around to the pound mark. There you go. Sweet. Just it's nice to have life at the end of the I line. Oh, saying, am I? I, was saying, I got one too. You would think that there would be something hitting there. I thought I had one too. I think he let it go. I had a square bill in the front seat of my car. Fish? Nice, man. I got my drag so low, I guess. It's all right. Fish is a fish, baby. Fish is a fishy. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's a good one. Good fish. That's a nice fish, Joe. There we go. Can't believe I caught one, Matt. Gives us promise, you know. Got him right in the cheek. All right, it's not a giant, but it's a pound and maybe like a tenth. He fights really hard. We, I looked behind me and something just ate this lure while I was looking over my shoulder. I didn't even move it. Another little dude. They're all about this size in here. Nice. Hey, it's top water morning. Late morning. Okay, there we go, buddy. Oh, he got bullhorned in the top. All right, guy. Be done with yourself. These poppers are freaking nice. Well, I'm glad I just missed that frogfish on the YouTubes like normal. I always have my frickin' always have my frickin' camera off. That was a nice one. It came up through the thick cheesy mat. It took me pretty hard. It's a little fish, but you know, I'll take it. Let's see if I can get another. Thanks for coming along. I haven't seen you guys much this week, but I am going to try to start working in some more fishing and videos here soon. I have a Monster Bass box, which is a topwater only box coming, and I'll open that up. And I think I'll just do that box opening live. So I'll let you guys know through social media and stuff when that's happening. Otherwise, take care. Have a good one. Tight lines. See ya.